Well, shit. Well, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to a brand new Spider Man video, and uh. Today has been. This week, honestly, is quite the interesting week, I must say. First off. It was announced that NXT is going to moving to to USA on September 18th, going to two hours, and will be live. It'll still be in full sale, which you know, I mean, I've been kind of wanting NXT to go to, to two hours, so I don't mind that one. But what I do fear is if Vince McMahon will be more, it will be more hands on. Which if he is, fuck NXT. It's dead. It's done. It will. NXT will die a thousand deaths if that senile old fuck. Is going to be running NXT instead of Triple H. We're fucked. You might as well wash your hands of NXT if that's the case. You might as well wash your hands and just stick to AEW because it will die. It will be shit. <sighs> but that is it. Let's just hope that one doesn't get that happen. Uh, secondly, Matrix 4 got announced. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> it's literally all over my Twitter. Um, what else? We also got announced uh, Bond 25 will be like, there's no time to die, I think is what it's going to be called. And of course, the biggest, the biggest piece of information that dropped, oh, well that's one other thing, it's also Andrew Garfield's birthday, so happy birthday to the one the greatest Spider-Man that ever lived. Uh, who was actually my favorite for the longest time. But, the reason why you are all here today is for the fact that Sony has cut ties with Disney, no more Mo Spidey in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah. Now, now, before y'all go on a hate spree and say, oh, fuck Sony, fuck them the hell, how dare they all do this, fuck Sony, they're ruining something good just so they can cash grab and ruin their own and all that stuff. It, this doesn't seem like this is Sony being a bunch of assholes. Or them being too greedy, or whatever the case may be. What seems to be what happened is that fucking mouse. Yes, that greedy little mouse known as Mickey. Uh -huh. See, uh, I want 30% of the profits. Uh -huh. You know, this seems like it be a problem with Disney. Disney are the ones that you should be blaming from what I've seen on Twitter. Because from, from what I've gathered, from what I've seen, because i I got Twitter pulled up on my computer, and I'm looking through the tweets right now. It appears that the problem is is that that Disney themselves got a little got too greedy because they want fifty percent of the profits. I now I'm not now I haven't gotten any clear answers by fifty percent. They mean fifty percent of everything, of like all the Spider-Man movies, or just fifty percent of the of the um. Of just their uh, of the uh, Disney movies, but if they make fifty percent of all the Spider-Man movies, even the ones that Sony do by themselves, like the Craven movie, the Venom sequel, Spider-Verse sequel, all those movies that have absolutely zero involvement with Marvel, with Kevin Feige, with anything related to Disney, they still want fifty percent of the profits of those. Which, if that's the case, fuck Disney, <laughs> you greedy little bastards, because, uh, mm, uh, see, uh, okay. Well, yes, I'm saddened by this news because I was really... Because, you know, the Marvel Universe just got complete. We finally had everything together. We had the X-Men back. We had the Fantastic Four back. Spidey was, you know, was, was, that, was with that deal with Sony. The Marvel Universe was once again complete. Then we get this news, and Spidey's out. My, my favorite hero is out of the MCU, which means we won't be able to see him deal work with Deadpool or with Wolverine, or I won't get to see more interactions with him and Carol because, goddamn, I love their interaction in Endgame, and I want to see more of it. Fuck. <laughs> uh, but I, I wouldn't say this is a complete negative because, honestly... Sony has been killing it with Spider-Man lately. First off, Spider-Man PS4. The greatest Spider-Man game ever conceived by man. Masterpiece. I love this game. Venom. A fucking fantastic superhero movie that I also love. I know some of you might say, oh, Venom was shit. Fuck off. Venom was awesome. Tom, at the very least, Tom Hardy was amazing. Venom was, was entertaining. And that goddamn, I love that movie to death. And of course, there was Into the Spider-Verse. A movie I don't think I even need to explain to you how awesome it was and how great it was. Now, so I wouldn't say that it's all doom and gloom for Spider-Man when he's solely in the hands of Sony, because you know, like I mentioned, 
he's been doing just fine with Sony. And I never even said, and I, I've mentioned this before, but Sony has never done me wrong when it comes to Spider-Man. I love the Sam Raimi trilogy, 1, 2, and 3. Love them all. I love Made Spider-Man 1. You guys know Made Spider-Man 2, for the longest time, was my favorite Spider-Man movie. That was until Far From Home, not, oh, Spider-Verse, then Far From Home overtook him. Overtook a Tasm 2. So, I am not completely disappointed or sad or worried about it. I'm definitely a lot more, I'm, I'm far more worried about what's going to happen to NXT than I am with, with Spider-Man. Because at least Sony has had a decent track record so far. Vince, not so much. Especially recently, what's, what's going on with Monday Night Raw and um, SmackDown. So, what could this mean for the future of the movies? What could this mean for the future of, the, of our of our beloved wall crawl? Now, I'm sure all of the guys that are not big fans of the MCU, like you know, uh, hot top, uh, like uh, like a uh, high top films, uh, you know, Alex from High Top Films. We all know the man has never been a big fan of how the MCU has treated Spider-Man. He did video on Spider-Verse, uh, not Spider-Verse, on Far From Home as well as Homecoming. I honestly kind of I I see his points with Far From Home, but I honestly don't really agree with a lot of them because I feel like. The way Peter Greaves, I feel like just because he doesn't name him at all, I feel like because, you know, when you watch the movie, you can tell how much he's grieving over everything. And I honestly don't even think that the whole stuff where, like, you know, where they had eight, where they had, a, what was it, Back in Black Flame with his Bill of Street, I thought that was just a nice little callback to the first Iron Man movie, you know. Um, and you guys, I love Far From Now. We Now, Tom Holland has still has two more movies left on his contract, but, 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 this is where the caveat is. Kevin Feige has no involvement in any of these movies, so these movies are technically not going to be part of the MCU proper anymore. From what I can gather, from what I can understand, from the tweets I have been able, from the from the tweets I have uh, seen, there will be there. These are going to be set in their own separate universe, so we might see Tom Hardy's Venom this in the next one. Now, what could this mean? If the, if it is true that, that Tom that uh, Kevin Feige has no more involvement in any of these two in any of the next two and the last two movies in Tom Holland's contract, they can't be in the MCU. No mention of any of that. What could that mean? What could that mean? Now we all, now we remember when it was announced at Phase Four, the Multiverse of Madness got announced with Doctor Strange. Now a lot of us were assuming with the whole horror aspect that might end up, and I even mentioned this in my video on what I did on what I thought Phase Four. Uh, what I thought the announcements. I even mentioned that, you know, as well as one of my friends also talked about. He said that that could also where they introduced Mephisto, and we could end up having something along the lines of One More Day getting adapted and being this and being probably in the main storyline of Spider-Man Three, whatever it end up being called. Now, with that being said, if it's just Sony doing it. I don't think I could trust. I don't think I want one more day because, like, because the only reason I was kind of okay with one more day maybe being adapted is probably was because Kevin Feige was going to be the guy that was probably gonna plan it out and honestly make it work and make sense. Because you know we all know how awful one more day was, but if it's just the hand of Sony's, especially um, uh, what's his name and uh, and um, uh, what, what's the other chick's name? Uh, 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 Whatever the other chick named, uh, that, that, I forget her name. If it's just the hand of those two, I don't know if I can trust that. Because, ugh, ugh, I don't know if they could realistically work a way to make one more. Because, honestly, I feel, because, ugh, because I didn't want one more day at all. But if it was least up by Kevin Feige, I would at least been mildly okay with it. Because I think he could have made it work. If it's not in the hands of him, and they don't have, like, and whoever they got working on it, I don't know if I can, if, I don't know if it could work. I also my my, my I might end up hating it. So, yikes! I am a little concerned if they are gonna still go with the one more day route because Kevin Feige has no creative input. Maybe maybe Kevin Feige will work some will work some. I mean, Hideo Kojima was able to, to was able to add put in all these fuck yous to Konami through gift through um, PT as well as as Ground Zeroes. If you guys saw that video that dropped recently about um. If I'm I'll put it up in the icon, but watch it. It's a really interesting watch just to see all the creative ways Hideo Kojima said fuck you to Konami. It's, a, it's quite interesting watch. I don't know if Kevin Feige will be able to be that clever and creative. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I don't think this is going to be doom and gloom for Spider-Man. Could, now, could we still end up seeing a deal work out? This, now, this is just for right now. They could very easily, maybe later on, come up with a new deal, and that's when they'll agree to it, and, you know, everything, and we'll be wrapped, and everything will be right as rain again. That could very easily happen, because we don't even know when Spider-Man 3 is going to come out. It's probably not going to come out for at least a good few years. So, 
we so I don't think this is going to be difficult because this could not be permanent. This could very easily just be like they couldn't get a deal right now, but maybe after some negotiation, maybe Disney will be like, okay, let's 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 take it back. Let's not take half the profits of every Spider-Man movie that gets made, even the ones we never had any influence on or have done anything on. Just like you know, all the only Sony movies. Maybe we they can work out a new deal and everything will be right straight. That's what I hope happens. This, because this is just, you know, this just got announced. For the time being, this could all get fixed up tomorrow. Tomorrow they might answer, they might have gotten together a new deal, and we're back to business as usual, and we get to see Wolverine with Spider-Man, Deadpool with Spider-Man. I get to see more of Captain Marvel with Spider-Man. Because goddamn it, I mentioned the before, but I'll say it again. I loved their interaction in Endgame, and I want more. <laughs> but now there is also one other positive we can see from this. One, we can see Tom Holland interacting with Tom Tom Hardy's vet. Which I would love to see, because I think that would be awesome. Because goddammit, I love Venom. And I would love to see this to interact. Two. This is just wishful thinking, but Andrew Garfield is back as Spidey. Will that happen? Probably not. I would, I could, I can dream at least. At least I can dream. I can hope, pray that maybe one day, one day, that might actually happen. That we see Andrew Garfield wear the suit one last time. Whether it's in another, whether it's Taz and Three, another a Spider Verse movie, uh, the Spider Verse sequel, whichever it could be. I want to hopefully one day get to see Andrew Garfield back as far because I love him as Spidey. So, yeah. Ugh. So honestly, this whole with all that's going on, I I wouldn't say this is complete doom and gloom because somebody had done great jobs by Spider Man at least recently. With, you know, Spider-Man PS4 and all the other stuff. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so tell me down below, guys, what you guys thought of this. Are you, are you happy? Are you sad? Do you hate Sony? Do you hate Disney? Do you just, would you're like, God damn it. You know, what is your reaction? Tell me all that down below what you guys think of this news and just wrote out to you. Are you excited to see Sony, to have Sony have back full control? Have you not been a fan of how Spy's been adapted, how he's been used in the MCU? I could, which I can honestly see that. I can honestly see why a lot of people haven't really liked how he's been handled in the MCU. Me personally, I've loved it so far, but that's just me. So yeah, tell me all that down below, guys, what you guys thought, what do you think this could mean? And yeah, let's just hope that this, uh, I'm, I'm either hoping that A, Sony, that A, Sony can keep making great Spy movies, or at the very least, Sony, they can work out a new deal soon. Let's just hope one of those two, one of those two options happen. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna end it here. So hope y'all enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Flag, and links down in the description box below. And as always, come back for more. See you guys next time.